Yo, good morning. What it do? This is your man, LeVon. This is LeVon Says. Just coming back one more again, man, on this Faith Over Fear Friday. You did. You know what it is. Listen, got a question for y'all this morning. And I need your feedback. This is not for listening purposes only, but I need your feedback. So leave your comments in the comments down below. Question is, are we as men and women, I'm including both in this, do we give too much too soon? What I mean by that, are you involved with someone that may be a boyfriend or girlfriend, but you're giving them husband and wife privileges and benefits? Let's talk about it. First things first, I get this out of the way. Please like and share the video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification so you always notified whenever I upload content. I upload Monday through Friday. Lamelli E is our purpose to love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten. Lamelli e .com. Go get your merch now. Let's get into the topic. I overheard a conversation the other day, right? And it was between this dude and his girl. And, uh, you know, she was upset because some things that transpired, right? And she felt like the things that happened should have included her, right? Um, and then the conversation went on to where, you know, he was trying to explain, well, I, you know, I did include you. But just because I included you does not mean that I'm going to go with your decision. You know, I included you in the process. I included you in, you know, trying to figure out what was the best course of action, what's the best route, you know, the best way to go about doing things, right? But just because I included you in the decision-making process doesn't mean I'm going to go with your decision. You feel me? And so when she was explaining why she was upset, it basically boiled down to is that she was expecting wifely um, things. You know, she expected to be able to make decisions like a wife, to be able to have input like a wife, to be able to say yes or no like a wife. But you're not a wife, baby girl. No, 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 no. Same thing for the fellas. You know, are you expecting your girlfriend to treat you like you're her husband? When you're not her husband? Yes, you're her boyfriend, you're her dude, you know, you guys are together, you've been together a minute, you're loyal, you've held her down, all these things. When it comes to making decisions, you, you know what I'm saying? She includes you in the, in the decision making. She runs things by you to get your perspective and see what you think. But if she goes on her own, after you've given your perspective, and she decides not to listen to that, but go with what she decided to do. How is that disrespecting you? How is that... Um, um, how in any way has she diminished your role as a boyfriend? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's right. So I'm here to ask a question to all of y'all. Please feedback, please put in the comments down below. Multiple times if you have to. I'm trying to figure out, are we, as men and women, are we expecting more than we should when we're dating um, and we're not engaged, we're not fiance or anything like that and, and there's no wedding ring. We're just boyfriend and girlfriend. We're together. So y'all, let me know. What's popping? Do we give off the wrong signals as men to you as women? You know, do we make promises too soon? Do we uh, 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 do we give off this aura and attitude in our actions, not just our words, but in our actions, that um, that your your wife, that I'm I'm looking at you as my wife, not my girlfriend, 
Not even a fiance, but my wife, even though there is no ring. Wait, say what? And women, are you treating men like they're your husbands, even though they have not given you a ring? You know, or their actions don't come off as treating you like a wife, but do you still feel respected and honored, or does a man have to treat you like a wife, even though he's just your boyfriend, for you to feel validated? Yo, did you just hear what he just said? I heard exactly what he said. This is what I want to know today, because it's my personal feeling, it's my personal thought that men have put out the wrong message. We've put out the wrong um, ideals. If I like you, I'm interested in you, I'd like to be in a relationship with you, then yes, I, I would ask you if you would like to date, if you'd like to be exclusive. That doesn't make you my wife. That makes me a boyfriend. And at such point to where things evolve, I, I want to make you my wife. I will give you an engagement ring. Now we're taking the next step. We're still not married. You're still not my wife. But you're a closer step. So now I can treat you differently. I can uh, implement some different ideals because now you're a fiance. Same thing with you know, a girl that likes to do. And he said, hey, I like you. I I think I'd like to marry you. I, I want to give you an engagement ring. Would you be my fiance with the promise of marriage? Right? That's the way it should be done. But I think we as men, we put the cart before the horse. Message. We make a lot of promises, right? And we have good intentions, but yet those promises aren't built on a solid foundation. They build on hopes and dreams. They built on words, right? But not they're not built on action. And I think women do the same way. They let a guy in and they treat a guy and start treating a guy almost like he's husband material, right? But he ain't your husband. You need to say that again. I think they need to hear that again. Y'all need to hear it? You need to say that again. You know, he ain't paying no bills. He ain't making sure you good. You know, um, he ain't checking on you like he's supposed to, you know. So that's my question. Do we, as people, man and woman, do we put people in the wrong categories too soon? Do we give them titles too soon? Do we, do our actions show the level of entitlement that they deserve too soon? That's the question. Y'all let me know. What's popping? Tell me what you think about the situation and about the idea. I think if you're going to be a boyfriend or girlfriend, be that, right? Th that has its place. A boyfriend and a girlfriend is not a fiance is not a wife or a husband. And I think that's where we've gotten off. A lot of times I think it is that, you know, people are just not straight from, from the gate. You know what I'm saying? They're not shooting from the hip. You know, honesty goes a long way, man. A long way. You know, if you be honest out the gate with somebody, then and you give them the, the the ability to choose they may not choose what you offer that time around but because you was honest and you were straight up maybe on later on down the road somewhere that will come into play and your honesty will give you another chance another opportunity you know what i'm saying but that's what i really think it is man people are not straight up about what they want out the gate they say a lot of stuff and then they wind up getting themselves in hot water because they can't back up what they say or their actions don't show what they say. Listen, the Bible says, try the spirit by the spirit. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that. You did, you know, 
and see whether it's of God. How I'm gonna know what you're saying is true if I don't if, if I don't watch you, if I don't take no time to to study you. And and how am I supposed to know if I damn sure don't ask no questions, especially important ones? You dig? So I think that's a that's a big part of the problem, man. You know what I'm saying? We we don't come off honest and and sincere from the jump. And I think that stems from fear. I think that stems from being hurt. I think that stems from seeing prior examples that were failures, seeing things that shouldn't have been seen and wasn't supposed to happen. I think all of this plays a part in us not being honest from the jump. Never thought about it like that. Now I'm not saying you gotta be 100% totally honest with somebody because you really don't know a person like that. But when you feel like, you know, um, you've known a person and 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 you've put in some time and you and you studied and you've watched, you know what I'm saying? You've watched them because of their honesty, because of the words that they said, even stuff that they might've forgot that they said. And then, but it don't change. We gotta start being more open and honest. You know what I'm saying? It's not about the past. It's really not about what we've been through as much as it is where we're going and what we're gonna go to. The question is, do I wanna go that way alone or do I, I wanna go with you? Have you proven yourself trustworthy and honorable and, and someone that has integrity outside of my presence? You know what I'm saying? So these are the things I think we need to look at when it comes to making decisions before we get with somebody. We need to be honest with them, be upfront with them. Stop all this holding information back and, and, and or lying. You know, I'm not saying withholding information is lying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying stop lying. You need to say that again. I think they need to hear that again. Y'all didn't hear it? You need to say that again. Stop intentionally telling false truths that you know are not accurate. It's okay to withhold information, certain information, but it does get to a point to where even withholding information can be detrimental, especially the person is asking you, you know, they're asking you specifically a question and you don't want to answer the question for whatever reason, or you don't want to, you know, I don't want to open up that. I don't want to think back on those things. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to rehash that. I'm past that. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to have to deal in that. Okay. But those can be excuses for you not wanting to open up and share because when you make a life with someone, then their life becomes your life and your life becomes their life. And how can our lives truly come together and intertwine as one if you're afraid to reveal your life to me? Preach, bro. You know you preach. Preach. If you're afraid to, to, to be vulnerable before me, you don't want to talk about that because that past hurt. That past, that means you ain't, you haven't dealt with it. You, if you cannot discuss something in your past without it being hurtful to the point that where you don't even want to talk about it that means you have not dealt with the issue so why do you want to connect yourself with someone and you know you have unresolved issues this is what sparks the dishonesty and not being honest from the jump just a another perspective y'all let me know what you think give me some feedback all right this is your man levon this has been levon says and I hope to see you in my next video. Lamelli E and one love.